Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. On the chopping block today is an independent but low-budget horror film from the great state of Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. And we're talking about Little Red Riding Hood, written and directed by Cole Meredith, who gives us a modern, grittier, darker, little bit sleazier version of the Red Riding Tale. Okay, in this version we have Trina, who's nicknamed Red. She loves red, wears a red cloak, a lot of red things in her house, in her room, and she's an artist that likes to draw these really wild drawings. Anyway, she has this really, really, really bad family situation that she hasn't been able to get out of, but she gets some help and a motivation to get out of the house and head to Grandma's. Well, along the way, she meets a gentleman who is a, a wolf, uh, if you will, in sheep's clothing, this very charismatic gentleman who also thinks he's a werewolf. Uh, but she doesn't know that, of course. And uh, the werewolf, after talking to her, gets to Grandma's, and we, we see how things play out from there. There's a lot more actually going on, but I don't want to spoil too much for you. It is a darker, grittier, sleazier version of the Red Riding Hood tale, and I enjoyed this uh, very much much. Now, first off, you got Kate Keeley in here playing Red, uh, and I loved her character. Her character had a little bit of, you know, this kind of mouseish feel to her, but at the same time, this inner person, you know, girl that just wanted to escape her situation, and she portrayed that very well, and I really uh, liked her character throughout. It was very fitting, uh, a very fitting Red Riding Hood for the world and the tale that is being told. Now, the guy playing Wolf Ray Kolenko, great performance by him. Uh, you know, this guy who thinks he's a werewolf and acts very wolfish at certain points in the film, great performance performance by him getting this duality of this kind of a dark charismatic character and then switching gears to this just really crazy wolf type character loved the switches between those two a uh, very great portrayal of the uh, duality there within that character and the rest of the supporting cast does really well i really like they got uh frank wilding way plays the huntsman i love this guy this guy was great this crazy huntsman on track uh, trying to track down the wolf and i just i loved his character he added a little bit of lighter moments to what is a very dark uh, version, uh, a very dark story, you know, uh, and the, the performance definitely by those, t the two people who play Red's parent, uh, mom and her mom's boyfriend, oh my lord, these two really put in an intense performance, I was impressed, really, uh, it made you a little feel uncomfortable while watching it, seeing these two go at it with each other verbally, and you know, you, you felt for Red. It was a great setup because you really got a good feel of uh, feeling like Red felt in that situation when she, she walks in on these two arguing. I mean, oh, it just made you feel a little uncomfortable and made you really see why Red wanted to get out of Dodge, so to speak. I also loved how they played with the colors, especially with Red's room. And, uh, Red really was enhanced wherever there was the color Red, and it mostly stuck and involved the Trina character, a.k.a. Red. And I loved how they did that as well. It really was visually stunning and helped emphasize the things that involved her. Her. Now, the wolf character, as I said, was done very well, and, uh, you know, there's not a lot of gore in here, but there, where there are the bloody scenes, they're done well, they don't look too fakey, uh, and I really like the story overall and the production of this film. Now, it does have a little bit of a lower production value, being a micro-budget film. I believe they helped sell a car, uh, a classic car, in order to help fund this film. So, shows you what independent filmmakers will do in order to get their story told. And I was happy to see this story told, and I know you will too if you can catch it at the festival. I highly recommend Little Red Riding Hood, uh, and not just because it was made in Wisconsin, but it, it's a decent story. It's worth uh, watching, especially for all you independent micro-budget film fans out there, definitely try to catch it when it starts making the festival scene. Uh, you can contact them uh, as well. They start having showings around Wisconsin, so keep an eye to Facebook and that. And I'll put some links down below for some other information where I can get it. And I really appreciate you folks watching. Remember, support independent cinema. You're getting a lot of great horror out of there. And until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff. Thank you.